And David, my first question is for you. I mean, how does it feel to be back in the suit and back on Doctor Who? Um, I'm just very, cl- very glad it still fits. <laughs> uh, uh, it feels weirdly familiar uh, in many ways. Like I've never been away, and then it, it, it's it's very peculiar, very odd to to be back doing something that was such a huge part of my everyday life. Uh, and then it's just sort of trying to get the sense of getting back in there again, trying to sort of ease back into it. And what's it been like for the two of you, you know, having two Doctors on set? Is there any kind of, you know, rivalry? Is it strange? What's it like, you know, two leads, I guess? Well, there's a, like, there's a rivalry in the story, but yeah. that, that, that's, yeah. that's what everyone wants to see. But yeah. no, I mean, as it's, it's, it's people, we get on very well. And, and, um, yeah. and, it's, and I've loved acting with David. It's I think it's been really, it's fun, really fun. Yeah, yeah. And actually, it's sort of been... <clears throat> because of course you you you, you enter these things with because you don't know what it's going to be like you don't know how that's going to work and because it, it, he's a very dominant character but mm. I found that one of the most enjoyable bits of the anniversary is when we're together being yeah. sort of doctory. I think that because when you when you know a character very well when you've played him a lot the the, the best thing to happen is for is for him, him to experience something new yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and th- there can be. Nothing more unique than meeting yourself. Yeah. So it's great. It's great fun to investigate that and to play that. And, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're funny together. Mm. And um, Matt, we saw you performing quite a, a dangerous-looking stunt dangling from the TARDIS. I mean, is this kind of an action-packed episode? Is this Doctor Who at its most epic? I guess? Yeah, absolutely it is. It's, 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 it's most sort of action-packed, and it's in 3D, so all that action lies out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and not only that, you know, there's a great sort of fable in the middle of it about the story, and and you know, we've 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 got Billy and Jenna and John Hurt. Let's we forget the great John, John Hurt, Hurt, yeah, giving a wonderful turn. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, we hope that it's going to be the biggest and best that we've done, and and right up there with the great Who episodes. And I think you know, all you can do is have a good time making it, which is what we're doing. When uh, you know, there was talk that you know the doctors would be uh, reuniting uh, fans were very excited what do you think it is about multi doctor stories and these anniversary episodes that people get so excited about i think i think i think for the for the fans i think it would have been a real disappointment if at the 50th we hadn't had a multi doctor episode i i don't know you're placing you're placing characters that you love and and people that have incarnated that character that you have you know has been your doctor or whatever seeing them together but also seeing these characters face face off to one another seeing a sort of uh, an equality to it and a mm. match I think is really exciting because you know who else in the world bar the master do you want to see the doctor spar with the doctor yeah, yeah. you know yeah. that's it that's it that's that's the pinnacle of where he's that's and it's very work. unique that this show can do that because of yeah. the nature of it because yeah. it's not, you don't get Pierce Brosnan teaming up with Daniel Craig no you know, I know or, or <laughs> Johnny Weissmuller teaming up with Christoph Lambert. You know, they, so these characters that get rebooted on Benedict and Jeremy Brett. You know, you get, it, it's it's quite unique that that a, a lead character. Maybe they should do that. Though. They probably should. <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, I, I think it, it's one of the great. Uh, Specialities of Doctor mm. Who, and this is even an option, isn't it? It's, it's a big question, but I mean, why do you think Doctor Who has lasted for fifty years? Why do you think it's it's so successful? What's its core appeal? You know, if you could bottle these things, yeah. <laughs> then every show on television would be uh, running for fifty years. But the the very fact is that there's nothing like Doctor Who. No, and uh, th- just the core concept of it is it, there's a simplicity and a brilliance that you have a sort of mad guy. Mm. Who the, he has a blue police box which is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and in story terms, you're not bound by anything because he can go anywhere in space and time any week, and so it, you you can constantly invent. Not only that, you can reinvent the main character, and and I think what, I I wonder if part of the key to the its longevity is that the basic format is is unchanged yeah. since 1963. Mm. Really, mm. I mean, you know, a, a viewer in 1963 could turn on and watch Matt's next episode and. Sort of understand. I mean, they'd be surprised about some of the things uh, yeah. about it, but they'd, they'd get what it, they'd recognise the show. And similarly, a viewer now can watch it or go back and watch any of the others mm. and get it. Yeah, exactly.